Maria Davis Fields. Miss Fields, you are charged with the felony offense of causing serious bodily injury to a child. That is a first degree felony. Your case is assigned to the 351st District Court. The judge in the 351st District Court is Natalia Cornelio. Would you like a court appointed lawyer to represent you in the 351st? Yes, ma'am. Are you a United States citizen? Yes. Do you consent to allow the assistant public defender to represent you at this bond hearing? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Stewart, what is the state's request with regard to bond? Uh, in this case, Your Honor, <coughs> excuse me. In this case, Your Honor, I'm going to ask for a $75,000 bond uh, based upon the facts and circumstances of the case. Uh, it's alleged here the defendant uh, caused or allowed to have caused uh, numerous injuries to uh, a four-year-old child, uh, things like a chipped tooth, bruised lip, uh, burning on the rear end, which uh, doctors, uh, medical professionals estimated that it uh, came from uh, putting a child in scalding water. Um, also, medical professionals indicated that there was some sort of a branding on the it was either the child's foot or the thigh. I don't, I don't recall which. Uh, however, given the facts and circumstances, I do have serious concerns uh, for complainant safety. I would ask that the court grant the MOEP that's been filed by the state in this case. And I would ask for specifically uh, additional bond conditions of no contact, uh, no weapons, no firearms, no contact with any child under the age of 17. And... Um, that uh, the defendant surrender any passport and that her travel be restricted to Harris County and its contiguous counties. Mr. Macias, what is your request with regard to bond? Um, Your Honor, in the case of Ms. Uh, Davis Fields, we're asking for a $1,500 bond. And in support, Your Honor, we would argue first um, that she is the lowest possible score on the PSA scale of a one of one. Um, she is a lifelong resident of Harris County, Houston, Texas, and that she's been here for, in the same residence, uh, living at the same place for a year, uh, which establishes that she does have ties to the community. Um, traditionally, she has three other children, uh, further establishing that she is not a flight risk. Um, also, she has a job. She's working part-time right now. We are asking that the court find uh, that she is indigent. We are arguing that she's not a flight risk, that she doesn't have any violent prior criminal history, that um, keeping her incarcerated is not the least restrictive means of ensuring the safety of the complainant in this case or potentially the other complainants because we do know that she has other children. Uh, we understand that CPS is involved in this case and has been. Um, so we are asking for a bond in the amount of $1,500. I do have a sworn to financial affidavit for Ms. Davis Fields. It does reflect she has been living at a house in Houston for a year where she resides with three children. She is employed part time. She has been for a year. Her total monthly income is $800 a month. Her expenses are $1,659 a month. She was booked into jail with $2.94 cash on hand. She has $1 in checking, total assets $4. There is no information with regard to how much she could reasonably pay to get out of jail within 24 hours after her arrest, including contributions from family and friends. Um, she is not eligible for a personal bond under 1703, uh, Article 1703 of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. She is scoring a no on the new violent criminal activity flag, a one out of six on the new criminal activity scale, one out of six on the failure to appear scale. She did have an out of county deferred for a theft of a firearm from 2017 to 2020 that looks like it was successfully completed. 
Uh, the Dems does allege serious uh, and extensive injuries to this uh, minor child. However, the purpose of bail is not punishment. The purpose of bail is to reasonably ensure the defendant's appearance in court and reasonably ensure the safety of the community. Uh, I do have, she does have other children, and according to the Dems, her boyfriend who she lives with also has minor children. So I do have some concern for the safety of the community in that regard. Ms. Davis Fields, I'm going to set your bond in this case at $20,000. I am not approving a personal bond. I am going to uh, leave it to CPS to make the decisions with regard to visitation with her child and children. So at this point, I'm not going to issue the protective order. Just a minute. it's required. Um, I am going to issue a magistrate's order of emergency protection in your case. If you'll have a seat, I will explain that order to you at the end of this docket, and then I will give you a copy of it.